Hey friend, host Steve here. Welcome back to the channel. So as you know, WrestleMania is right around the corner. So pretty much everything I do on the channel right now is going to be WrestleMania related, including today's look at WrestleMania merchandise. That's right. WWE uh, is gearing up for the show of shows for the grandest stage of whatever. And this is the bullshit you'll be able to find both on the website at Dabbity Shop. You know what I should have done? Because I've seen this a lot. I, people have like affiliate links now for WWE shop and like I could be dropping my affiliate link, which would be like, you know, WWE shop.com slash like wrestle juice. I don't have one of those yet though. I need to get one and do these videos more on the reg. And what I should do is dive into this bullshit and be like, Oh my God, look at this terrible stone called Steve Austin, Philly 316 says I spent a cup of coffee in ECW. And then I went to the Federation. Look at this, regularly $32, $32, dollars it says $32.99. It's usually $33. Yeah, we're selling this for $25, $24.74, wear it. I wouldn't buy this for $3.16. Anyways, uh, but no, you know, I would just get on here and I'd lie. I'd say, wow, look at this awesome hockey jersey, no, football jersey for WrestleMania 40. It is in the Philadelphia colors though, so that's kind of cool. At least they got that branding right. Um, yeah, I mean, this is fine. It's like wearing like an NBA shirt or an NFL shirt. And I'm not talking about a specific team. I'm talking about like the, the like the logo. Like who's going to just wear a WrestleMania shirt? Just shouldn't you be wearing a shirt of like, like you know, wrestlers that you like? Uh, they got the universal title here, which still... I haven't grown. I haven't grown used to the universal title. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not huge into it. I wish. I, I kind of like it better. I'll be honest. I like it better than the old, like red and blue strap title. I like it better than that. But they should have made this like I don't know, like a gunmetal or something like that. Something cool. Uh, oh, we got a hoodie too. All right. And this is you know, kind of. It's not terrible. Like I'm. This isn't terrible. It's got the old school WrestleMania thing. <laughs> you got. You got two WrestleMania logos on it. You got the main, you got the old school one, and then you got the the new one up here. I don't know if you guys can see my cursor or not. I think you can. So you got that going for it. And then we got, hey, we actually have some wrestlers here. What do you guys think about this Seth freaking Rollins one? I think this is all right. I'll be honest with you. I'm not hating on this Seth Rollins t-shirt right here. It's a solid, I mean, look, it's a lot of screen print. It's a lot of screen print. You're walking around if it's like warm. This is not a summertime shirt. Because just your whole chest area is going to be sweating. But this is probably the best Rollins shirt there's been. Because Seth Rollins has traditionally had fucking awful shirts. What is this crap? Men's Pro Sphere Green WrestleMania 40 shirt. Again, what do you got like a skyline down here? I'll be honest though. I feel like the logo for WrestleMania this year with the cracked uh, Liberty Bell. Bell Liberty Bibbity Bell is all right. But again, kind of a dork shirt, kind of a dork nerd shirt. Levels above, I know they got a new one. It's like family above all, which is cool. All right, let's talk about this one and how I'm totally gonna remake this shirt. Can I, I wanna, can I get a close up on this? Can I go, can we go, yeah, here we go. Look at that guy. <laughs> he got shithead on here. And then the, Ameri the American Nightmare logo, got two logos on here. He's got like the, the little staff here, whatever this is. Claim your kingdom. Yeah, all right. Uh, this is dope because it's got the dog on here. Um, they should have. There should have done like a little hint of his pecker down here. To be honest with you, um, I might remake this shirt. Do one of Gypsy Bug for Wrestle Juice, and then do one of maybe Gypsy and May for like going in Raw Friendo Club, something like that. Um, the Paul Heyman shirt is something else. This is a choice right here. It's a great picture. It's an awesome picture of Paul Heyman. All this bullshit on the back here. <laughs> CEO of the Dangerous Alliance. That's a highlight from when WCW was drawing 200 people at a fucking uh, high school gymnasium. They really should have started with this. Owner of Extreme Championship Wrestling. You don't need to put CEO of the Dangerous Alliance on there. Raw color commentator. Cool. SmackDown GM. Cooler. Advocate special counsel and wise man of the bloodline. That's that's all cool stuff. I don't know about this first one, though. I like the Dangerous Alliance as much as anybody else, which isn't really a whole lot. 
Uh, let's see here. Yeah, nothing to, this is kind of cool. This one right here, you know, it's got a 76ers vibe to it. I dig that. Toss the Eagles in there. Sure, why not? The WrestleMania helmet, not sure how many people are going to wear that. Seems like, a, oh, it's a mini helmet. It's not even a legit helmet. All right. What is this dog shit? <laughs> what? They made the, they've got like, the, it looks like human skin. This looks like rotted human skin. <laughs> they took, they took, they've, they've been doing some grave robbing, it looks like, to make their jerseys. This better be a lot of money. This better be a pretty penny. It's $110. For a human skin version of, of a baseball jersey for WrestleMania 40. I think it, I think it's supposed to be on parchment. Like the Constitution was on parchment or whatever they made it on. Old paper. That's ugly as shit. That is so ugly. Oh, man. Got some hoodies. Got a nice basketball jersey here. Man of the masses for Becky Lynch. That's cool. Got a cool Bianca Belair shirt. They're just sort of throwing everything against the wall. Seeing it like Vegas. Why? Why do they have a Vegas shirt there? That's cool, I guess. Whatever. Bailey, winner of the Rumble. Now you're just now you're reaching here. Now oh, they got a cool Bull Nakano shirt. That's nice. All right. So oh, we got two pages of it. Okay. So more bullshit. Nothing. Another skin shirt. That's crap. Well, they got a skin uh, hockey jersey. That's disgusting. Oh, some flip flops. You're gonna wear that in Philadelphia this time of the year. That's that's smart. Uh, all right. Anyways, the, the, it's terrible. It's all bad. All that stuff is bad. Uh, let's family above all. What do you guys think of this new Bloodline logo? It looks exactly like the other Bloodline logos, except there is there's blood on it. Looks like somebody or ketchup. You know, somebody spattered just some Jack, Jackson Pollock work there. So that's cool. Right on. I guess. Not gonna wear that to a bar anytime soon. Uh, what else do they have? Funko Pops. This is, okay, this is cool. I like the Uso Funko Pops. That's cool. I'm down with that. Look at that. We're the ones. Throw up your ones there, everybody. Good job. That's cool. I mean, this is like back when they used to rock with each other. Now they're going to fight. They should have like one where they're fighting each other. Uh, let's see here. So disappointing in that. All right, let's just launched. Here we go. Authentic Tees just launched. Now we're getting into it here. Just looked at this one. This is a good shirt. I would not wear it, but that doesn't make it not cool. This is fucking awesome. Uh, I don't know. What does ITYS mean? What does that mean? ITYS. If you, if I thank you, sir. <laughs> Y'all let me know. Hey, wrong answers only. Drop them in the comments. ITYS. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's badass though. I love this. This is so cool. This would be cool on a black shirt, but then they toss it on the tie dye. I'm, I'm with it. Wouldn't wear it. I like it. I think it looks great. I'd, I'd buy it for a friend if they liked Bailey. That's cool. This is terrible. The, what, this is, <laughs> what, cause let's be honest. Let's be honest here. There's, there's too much Seth Rollins on this shirt. Because he is like Cody's henchman now. He's Cody's bodyguard. Cody somehow politicked his way into getting Raw's world heavyweight champion to become his bodyguard. So Rollins shouldn't be, he shouldn't make up half this logo. He should make up like, he should be like a little asterisk here. You have the whole Cody thing and then you have a little tiny Seth Rollins, a little tiny Jey Uso, a little tiny Yeet and a little tiny Rollins thing. And then on the back here, you put, you know, American Nightmare and Friends. <laughs> That's what you put there. Because they're not a team. I know technically they're a team in the tag team. I get that. But let's be honest. Cody's just sort of using Seth. That's what it's going on. Oh, Jesus. They're still plugging this shit from 2011. I don't give it. That's a badass shirt right there. They made a ring. They should honestly, they should have turned this. This should not be a ringer. It should be a raglan. Should be a baseball tee. That'd be the best. Yeet. I'm glad they got rid of the blurry yeet. Oh, now we're into the, this is old. Oh, look at, yeah, look at. I'm still selling a lot of these shirts here. Uh, all right, now we're into the old, oh, no yeet. Okay. Got the return shirt. No blurry yeet shirt? Yeah. All right, so this, this is not old. I mean, this is not new. This is, now we're getting into the old stuff. Uh, all right. So is that kind of like what's going on fan favorites stuff that people really like, I guess, top sellers, top sellers is what we're looking at here. 
Philly 316, terrible, 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 good, terrible. Ooh, this is awful. This is terrible. But you know what? Hey, if you can't afford, if you can't afford 500 bucks for the actual thing, you just wear it on a shirt. That's cool. Oh, this is cool. This isn't terrible. That's all right. Is that Heyman now? They should have gotten a picture of Heyman back then. Uh, what is this? WWE superstar in training. Oh, for a toddler. That's cool. Probably don't take bumps. Uh, the whole, okay. The effing Hall of Fame guy. Okay, yeah, that's that's all right. I'm not gonna wear that out, but that's all right. What is this shit? <laughs> oh, is this for toddlers also? Or can grown people wear this? Is it no? Oh, it's a youth. Okay, it's youth. The next WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So, like, am I to believe that like a youth-sized person is gonna cash in on? They're gonna beat Seth Rollins? Probably not. Future. And it was a youth one. So future, this is better because like who knows when it's going to happen in the future. This is for kids, I guess. Do, can I get this for like a dude, like a man, like a like a grown person? Look at that. They put Seth's title way down here. You get the undisputed one way up here and then you got Seth's title down here. Jesus. Jesus helped Seth Rollins. <laughs> oh, good fucking Lord. Look at this shit. <laughs> God. God. God damn it, pal. What is the, the what? Wow. The, the gradient? Does it, they, it has a gradient on it? That's horrible. That's absolutely atrocious. Oh, I like this one. That's a cool one. The Bray Wyatt shit's good. That's good stuff. This is iconic right here. Again, I wouldn't wear it, but it's it's uh, that's awesome. This is a great shirt right here. Uh this is but this is this is better. This is dumbed down, man. This is dumbed down. You can you're not gonna go out with this, but you can sit here at the computer and hang out if it's cold in this. It's too red. I don't know if you can walk around like this. I mean, in certain parts of the of the city, maybe, not others. Uh, let's okay. This is all old shit. Look at the, look at this terrible shirt. Why is the why the American flag? I get it. He's American nightmare. I understand that. But like, do we need do we need the flag? Is this a 9-11 tribute shirt? Get out of here with that. Anything else? Commemorative WrestleMania, Hall of Fame. What is this? They have a US Express shirt? Holy shit, look at this one. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Wyndham and Rotundo. Of course, Wyndham Rotunda is uh, Bray Wyatt's name. But he's named after Barry Wyndham, I think. Or one of the Wyndhams. Um... Muhammad Ali, that's a good shirt. Oh, that's a good looking. Look at this one. That's cool. I like that. That old WrestleMania thing is really cool. Oh, Thunderbolt Patterson. That's a good one right there. All right. That's cool. All right. I'm not really hating on that stuff. That's all right. I'm not going to go over those again. Money in the Bank accessories. All right. Well, hey, there you go. There's, there's The Undertaker. Hey. Uh, there's your look at WrestleMania. Shit. So I think what I'll do is, this is the last honest review. I'm just letting you guys know. This is the last, I want to do an honest review of this bullshit. I'm going to get an affiliate code. Now, once I get the affiliate code and I start doing these, I'm going to act like everything's great, okay? And I'm going to, I'm going to need you guys to go out there and buy this bullshit so that I can make some money off, <laughs> off my affiliate code, okay? I'm going to tell you guys, Look at this. Yeah. Hey, buy buy several of these titles. Right. I'll be honest. This fill it. Don't buy it. Yeah. Wait till I get my affiliate code. Some of these actually do look really fucking. Nice. Oh, these are the. Oh, I just saw the football ones. These are the baseball ones. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Some of these are awesome. <gasps> I'm not even a Cubs fan, but god damn, that is a cool looking title. All right, don't buy these yet. But I'm gonna do a review on these. And then I'm going to say all these look great, and I need you guys to buy a lot of them with my affiliate code. Anyways, hey, look, I'm shameless. You guys, what you got to do? You got to be shameless sometimes, people. Anyways, that's going to do it for WrestleJuice. Give me the old thumbs up and then hit the old subscribe button, and then we'll see you guys around.